So we are going to look at correlation analysis and we are going to have an example but we f there are two methods that we are supposed to use but we are first looking at the Pearson's method or the product moment correlation and the formula for calculating the relationship between the variables using Pearson's method it is R equals to n summation x y minus summation x summation y divided by the square root of n summation x squared minus minus summation x into bracket squared then n summation y squared minus summation y into bracket squared so it is the formula that we use to calculate the relationship between the variables using the Pearson's method or the product moment correlation. Yeah. So we are going to have an example, an example on correlation. And the example is the table below shows the monthly advertising expenditure in thousand US dollars and the corresponding sales revenue in thousand US dollars for Nisha Academy furniture store for the last eight months. So it has the eight months which is January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August. And then the advertising expenditure, it is there for the eight months. Then the sales, it is there for the eight months. So you have to first Identify which one is the dependent variable and which one is the independent variable. Advertising expenditure. Does advertising expenditure depend on sales? Not really. But do sales depend on, on advertising expenditure? Yes. So the higher the advertising expenditure, the higher the sales. Sales depend on advertising. But advertising does not depend on sales. So... Advertising is the independent variable and sales is the dependent variable. And the independent variable is always the X. So the advertising expenditure is the X and sales is the Y. Yeah. So required, they want us to determine the relationship between advertising expenditure and sales. Yeah. So... Solution. Solution. We we said advertising expenditure is the x. So we we shall bring all the figures for advertising expenditure. We use them as the x variable. Fifteen. Thirty. Thirty one. Forty. Like that. Seventeen. We put them there. Then sales is the y variable because it is the dependent variable. It depends on advertising expenditure. So we get the values of sales. We use them as the y variable. 28, 37, 42, 45, 45, 24, 50, like that. Yeah, so from from our formula, we shall need in order for us to calculate for the relationship using Pearson's method, we shall need x y. We shall need summation x and then summation y. Then we shall need x squared. We shall need y squared. Yeah. So in our table, we we, sh we shall follow the. The formula we already have the x and then the y so we, we shall use these ones we add these to get summation x then we add these to get summation y yeah. then for x squared we said according to the formula we shall need x squared so we put the column for x squared then y squared and then x y so for x squared For x squared, we, sh we shall say 
x the, the first x it is 15 x squared 15 it is 225 so it is what we put here then for the second figure it is also 30 squared which is 900 it's what we put here and we do the same for the rest of the x's we get their square values then y squared we get the y and then we square it which is 28 squared that so it's what we put here then we do the same thing for the rest of the y values then after that we have to get xy xy it is simply x times y this times this so the, the, the first one it is 15 times 28 which is 420 and it's what we put here then the next one it is 30 times 37 it is what we put here so we do the same for the rest of the figures and after that we add we get summation x squared we add this we get summation y squared then we add this we get summation xy yeah, so after this the only thing that we are supposed to do is to substitute in our formula so that we can get the relationship yeah, so our formula the Pearson's method for calculating the relationship between the variables, it's, it is this one. Yeah, and n, n is the number of, the number of items, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the 8, therefore our n is 8. So our n is 8, our x squared, we calculated it, our x squared, it is here, then our y squared, it is here, summation xy, it is here, then summation x into bracket squared, we, we get the, this summation, this summation of x and then we square it. If we do it on the calculator, it will be 2, 2, 1 squared, which is that. And it's what we put here. It's what we put here as summation x squared. Then summation y squared, we get the summation of y, which is this one. Then we square it. So we get 293 squared. And that is what we get. So it's what we put here as our summation y squared. Yeah, so this is a summary of what we are going to use to substitute in our formula. So we already have the n. R i is equal to n. n is 8. And then summation xy, summation xy it is here, so it's what we put here, we multiply, then minus summation x, summation x, we already have it, it was this one, then summation y, this one, yes, so, then the downer part, n, our n is 8, then summation x squared, Summation x squared, it's here. It's what we put here. Then minus summation x into bracket squared. It's what we got here. We put it here. Then we multiply 8. N is 8. Then summation y squared. Summation y squared. We got it here. Sorry, it's here. Summation y squared, it's here. 
It's what we got here. Then minus summation y into bracket squared. It's what we got here. We got it here. Then after you use the calculator, you multiply. And so then after you would you subtract and all that, then you come to the final answer. R is equal to 0 0.96. 96, it means that there is a strong positive relationship between advertising expenditure and sales. And that is the relationship between advertising expenditure and sales using the Pearson's method. There is a strong relationship because it's a strong positive relationship because it's positive and it's high. It is almost one. 0 0.98. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, share with your friends. Let's catch up in my next video.